I want to talk about uh, some product function in calc today. Uh, let's say we have a table here. We have the different types of cars. We got Ford, Chevy, and Toyota. And these are the months we're going to deal with, May and June. Uh, Ford, uh, there were eight sold in the month of June. Uh, they cost 7500 each. Uh, Ford in June, there were 14 sold that were 8300 and so on. Uh, what we're going to talk about is the sum product function. Uh, let's say that we want to know the total amount of money that we made. So basically what we would have to do to figure that out is do 8 times 7500 plus 14 times 8300 plus 7 times 6,873, and so on, all the way down. Well, an easy way that we can do that is to use the sum product function. Let's, uh, let's just put that formula here in the cell, and we will hit the function wizard, and let's go to the sum product function, and we'll go to next. And what we need to do is enter an array. So let's go ahead and get our first array which will be this one. Uh, then we'll get the second array, which is this one. And we hit OK. And there's our formula. And let's go ahead and change this to currency. Uh, all right, so there we have it. There's our answer. So what it did is 8 times this plus 14 times this plus 7 times this plus 12 times this and so on all the way down. All right. Now, what I have here in these cells are these are some uh, that I've already done. For instance, this instance this one is the number of Fords sold in June. So what we want to do is we want to see how much money we made on Fords in the month of June. So you can see that would be this one, this one, and this one. So what we want our formula to do is 8 times this plus 14 times this plus 12 times this. Now I've already put the uh, function in there. It's some product A4 to A12, so it goes through here. This is the first range. and B4 to B12, here's our second range for the month, and then we have uh, the C. Actually, I'm sorry I messed up, it's not 8 times this, 14 times this. We want to know the number sold, so it's just going to use this information here. Okay, And what it will do is add these up. Okay, Now, Let's take a look at this and see how this works. So we come over here to this sheet here, and I've already got this uh, set up of how it works. So in A4 through A12, there's our range there. B4 to B12, this is our range. And C4 to C12, this is our range. So what it does, and here's the, here's the formula that we use right here. We have some product A4 to A12 equals Ford. So what it does is it searches through here, and if it equals Ford, it returns a value of true. This is what the formula is doing. All right, And then the next array is B4 to B12 equals June. So if it equals the month of June, it returns a true value. Okay, And you can see June, and this is true. June, this is true. May, this is false. And then of course here's our C column with how many we sold. Now let's come over here to the last one. Now what calc does is a true value converts to 1 and a false value converts to 0. Okay. So what it does if, if we have two true values it does 1 times 1 times 8 is 8. And then here we have two true values which would be 1 times 1 times 14 equals 14. And then here we have a true and a false, so that returns 1 and 0. And so when we do 1 times 0, that gives us 0, and 0 times 7 would be 0. So nothing gets added there. And then our 
last true true statement would be here and here so that would be 1 times 1 is 1 times 12 is 12 so when it sums all these up we get an answer of 34 all right and you can see that this is how this this is our answer and the same thing works for the number of Chevy sold now what if we want to know the amount of money we made on Fords in the month of June well that formula is it's just like this one you can see it's like this one but the difference is it's the same thing except we have this part added on to it we have to add in the D column okay and it works and it calculates calculates it the same as we would otherwise uh, so I hope this uh, helped uh, hopefully it helps you understand the sum product function again uh, a little more it's really a useful tool uh, thank you and if you need uh, uh, this spreadsheet here I have it on my website you can see my website it's on the bottom right hand corner of the screen you can go there and on the right hand side of the page uh, under links there's a uh, link there that says my spreadsheet files and you can actually download this uh, spreadsheet and you can look at it more because I all the colored cells have uh, functions in them okay thank you